The Atman, Part 2A2 Seven Chakras, Twelve Meridians, and the Akashic Aura The Seven Chakras are the Muladhara, Root, Svadhisthana, Sacral, Manupura, Solar Plexus, Anahata, Heart, Vushududa, Throat, Ajna, Pineal, and Sahasrara, Fontanelle. When Qi energy, called Phi, electrochemical transduction by Freud, is channeled upward along this circuitry, the energy's wavelength patterns move toward a faster vibration of the ultraviolet photoelectric effect elevating the brain waves toward alpha state. Just so, when qi energy is channeled downward along this circuitry, the energy's wavelength patterns move toward a slower vibration of an infrared photoelectric effect, decreasing brain wave activity toward gamma state. The usual symbolic depiction of the seven chakras is, thus, as the seven color spectrum of a rainbow, with the root chakra in red and the crown chakra in violet. Likewise, the simplicity or complexity and the geometric shape that forms the pattern of each is unique from every other. The crown chakra is a violet, 1,000 petaled lotus blossom. The third eye chakra is two lotus petals around a downward triangle in indigo. The throat chakra is 16 petals surrounding a downward pointing triangle containing a circle in blue. The heart chakra has 12 petals around a hexagram in green. The solar plexus chakra has 10 petals around a downward pointing triangle in yellow. The sacral plexus chakra is 6 petals around a crescent moon glyph in orange. The base chakra is 4 petals around a square surrounding a downward triangle in red. The Chinese model of 12 nerve fiber meridians, stemming outward from the spinal column's main trunk of neurons, connecting the brain to the body, has been proven science since its initial discovery and application some time before 2,500 years ago. By applying acupressure to pressure point nerve centers along these meridians, one can relieve stress from other parts of, and or from the whole of, the nervous system of the recipient. This can be amplified using acupuncture with needles, however it can also be accomplished by simple person-to-person -person dermal transduction as taught and called Reiki, laying on of hands healing technique. According to the basic chart of the 12 Chinese meridians, they each affect different areas of the body and control the various organs located there. Thus, some are singular and dorsal, others lateral and symmetric. That there should be 12 meridians emanating from the seven chakras is no huge surprise to a student of a Kabbalah. It may be taken as proof for intelligent design which, however, in turn leads to no proof of any greater good or God, greater intellect or species, etc. God could have designed this sort of system to evolve naturally given our cosmos conditions over time, and then left us here to fester and rot. Likewise, any alien species could have unwarranted, altered our ape genetics into the human genome, and then vanish to leave us here to fester and rot. The final form of the Far Eastern Oriental system of religious metaphysics to be considered is this triune nature of the aura. Here we see the aura as being a seven rainbow spectrum color field surrounding our body with an invisible energy, outermost violet, innermost red, symbolizing the solidity or aridity 
of the energy field's density relative to distance from the core of the aura, the seven chakras of the spine. The inside of the aura is thus a reflection of the seven chakras as a rainbow. There are three basic components to the aura, or personal electromagnetic signature pattern. One, the interior of the aura. Two, the surface dividing the interior or of the aura from the exterior world around it. And three, the world exterior to the aura. Because the aura surrounds a person with an energy field roughly akin to a soap bubble, the physical plane is the air within the soap bubble, the astral plane is the surface of the bubble itself, and the spiritual plane is the air in the realm beyond the soap bubble's surface. If the ratio of pressure, density, gravity, or general force is off, between the atmosphere inside the aura and the atmosphere outside the aura, the aura layer between them is disturbed like waves on a pond stirred by the wind. To return to the seven chakra in more detail, we first examine each in color in descending order from the violet crown to the indigo third eye to the blue throat to the green heart to the yellow solar, to the orange sacral, to the red root, to see that then the chi energy flowing through the circuit returns upward around the exterior surface of our outer aura. Likewise, we will see each chakra now in rising order from base to crown, which results in the chi returning downward around the interior surface of our outer aura. The root chakra, Muladhara, is associated with the color red, has four petals each, associated with one letter from the Sanskrit alphabet, and is symbolized by the elephant of Ganesha. The seed syllable is Lam. The sacral plexus chakra, Svadhisthana, is associated with the color orange, has six petals, each associated with one Sanskrit letter, and features the crocodile of Varuna, symbolizing Brahma. The seed syllable is Vam. The solar plexus chakra, Manipura, is associated with the color yellow, has ten petals, each with a correspondent Sanskrit letter, and its he ram animal symbolizes Rudra. The seed syllable is Ram. The heart chakra, Anahata, is associated with the color green, has twelve petals, each with its own unique Sanskrit letter, and its she goat animal symbolizes Shiva. The seed syllable is Yam. The throat chakra, Vishuddha, is associated with the color blue, has 16 petals with one Sanskrit letter on each, and is symbolized by an elephant. The seed syllable is Ham. The third eye, Ajna or Bindu chakra, is associated with the color indigo, has two petals with one Sanskrit letter on each. The seed syllable is Om. The crown chakra, Sahasara, is associated with the color violet and is symbolized by a 1000 petaled lotus blossom unifying the rising female Shakti Kundalini energy and the sinking male Shiva Chi energy. The seed syllable is Silence. To return to the twelve meridians in more detail, we first examine that each appendage to the body, including the head, acts as a microcosm of the torso, and so all contain twelve meridian lines. 
The twelve meridian lines of the skull surround and crisscross the face, connecting between the cheek muscles as well as above the scalp line where only nerves and not muscles comprise the tissues interior to the epidermis. The human hand, in addition to being a microcosm reflecting the seven planets, twelve zodiac signs, and five of the ten sephirot, the human hand's neurons meridians are a microcosm of the rest of the body. The spine aligns along the outside of the thumb, the seven chakras with points on the palm, the arms, the eyes, legs, and nose correspond to the four other digits tips from the index to the little finger outward from the thumb. The human feet, also, are a microcosm divided apart into twelve meridian zones that correspond to other parts of the body including the eyes, ears, and internal organs. The feet, with five toes each, the hands, with five fingers each, and the head, with, besides the eye sockets, five orifices, all together form the five appendages around the torso. To many, this pentacular symbol of living beings all over this planet is proof of intelligent design. However, the connections provided thus far remain dubious. Because of the twelve petals in Sanskrit letters of its form, the heart chakra, Anahata, is thought to be the origin place for the sending and receiving of electrochemical pulsed signals between the twelve peripheral meridians and the seven central chakras. The heart chakra symbol is the hexagram star, the so-called Star of David from the Western mystery tradition and symbolizing the conjoining of male, the upward triangle, descending, and female, the downward triangle, elevating. The heart chakra's color is green and seed syllable sound is yam. The internal electrochemical system is such that there are 21 acupuncture pressure points for the spleen meridians, 9 for the heart, 19 for the small intestine, 67 for the bladder, 27 for the kidney, 9 for the pericardium, 23 for the triple burner meridians, 44 for the gallbladder, 14 for the liver, 11 for the lung, 20 for the larger intestine, 45 for the stomach, 28 for the governing vessel meridians, 24 for the conception vessel or gamete cells, with five possible extra points motive and central to tension excitation within the nervous system. There are thus upwards of 300 acupressure acupuncture pressure points. The manner the interior electrochemical cathexis of surplus chi energy, resulting in Freud's concept of ego, occurs, and the manner the interior energy passes the dermal barrier and forms the auric field around the living body, yet elude many modern scientists, but not mystics who have worked with this system for aeons. Here we see the doubling of the yellow solar plexus, blue throat, and indigo ajna chakras to resemble the sephirot pattern on the tree of knowledge, showing matter below and spirit above the exterior aura, with yang, the male Tao stick symbolizing negative or zero, on the body's right, and yin, the female Tao rod symbol of positive or one, on the body's left, such is the simple natural structure of the soul according to the Far Eastern Oriental concept of it as the Atman.